I've done several fuel system cleaning videos and shown how those products clean carbon but I've never shown how long it takes for the carbon to come back. It's been a thousand two hundred and fifty miles since I ran Redline SI1 in two consecutive fuel tanks and in that time my direct fuel injector tips went from looking like this to this and my piston crowns were cleaned as well but today I'll be showing how much carbon has come back on the fuel injector tips as well as the piston crown. I was actually shocked by what I saw on the pistons. Now let's get this. Diving in right away, let's go ahead and remove the engine cover, disconnect and take out all the ignition coils and then lastly I remove all the spark plugs. We'll start with the observation on the injectors. At just 330 miles after running Redline S1, you can see that the vanish is starting to come back on the fuel injector tips after 300 plus miles but there's hardly any carbon build up on the nozzle. This finding was the same across all the other fuel injectors. Let's fast forward to 1250 miles after using Redline SI1. Sticking to the same cylinder one, you can now see that there's considerable carbon buildup on the fuel injector tip compared to immediately after using the product. However, I'll say it's not yet as bad as the baseline before I ran the cleaner. At that time, the injector nozzle was almost completely covered by black carbon. Again, this finding at 1250 miles was uniform across the cylinders. Now, remember I mentioned that the findings on the pistons shocked me and the most shocking was actually cylinder 4 but let's go ahead and start with cylinder 1. You can see that there's really not much additional build up here. This piston was the least cleaned of the cylinders at the time and I think perhaps the fuel injector here could use some ultrasonic cleaning and not just chemicals. Moving on to cylinder 2, again not much build up has returned and it hasn't definitely gotten back to what it was before I ran Redline SI1. For cylinder Cylinder 3, I actually think that it's slightly better, especially when you consider this part of the piston where I can see more bare metal exposed. But before I make my conclusions, let's go ahead and see cylinder 4. The piston top is clearly better at 1250 miles in cylinder 4, just going by how much more bare piston crown you can see. Now, here are my conclusions and questions, and I also welcome your comments. Redline SI1 contains one of the highest proportions of polyethylamine or PEA and it stands at 30 to 40 percent according to the safety data sheet. Apart from being the industry standard for cleaning carbon, PEA is also said to prevent the formation of new deposits so that could be what's at play here but this doesn't explain the additional cleaning seen in cylinders 3 and 4. Perhaps the ruthenium spark plugs that I fitted about the same time I used Redline SI1 is helping with a more complete burn the more complete the burn, the less deposits you have available to stick on the pistons. But if this is true, why then are we not seeing the same benefits in cylinders 1 and 2? And my final conclusion here is that perhaps the fuel injectors in those cylinders were a bit more clogged. An ultrasonic cleaning of all the injectors in this engine will actually even out the test conditions across the cylinders. That video is going to be coming soon. Let me know what you think down below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you've loved this and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace!